Morning y'all. I thought I would take a few minutes and show you all how I do a cold straightening on arrows. There's uh, a lot of methods out there, hand bending, using a hook, uh, using compression, this, that, and the other thing. I thought I'd show you what I do. Um, naturally, you know, in order to end up with top quality finished arrows, you have to start with a perfectly straight arrow, uh, perfectly straight shaft. Um, what I do is I use a spinner that I've had for about 20 years and I use one of these ace brass roller straighteners. Um, first thing I do is, and these are 5 16 Douglas fir use shafts uh, that I'm using this morning. What I do is I put them dead center on the spinner and I look, I rotate it and look. Now, I don't know how well you can see on the video, but this end is wobbling quite a bit. This end is perfectly straight. Uh, this is one of three sets of arrows I started last night, uh, so they've all had one straightening on them, but I picked a few out to demonstrate with. As you can see, that shaft rotates up and down. What I want to do is get to the point where that this point is down, which means this point is up. When I'm looking at a shaft, first thing I want to do is, is rotate it and see which end wobbles the worst. And when I determine that end, I put that end on here with one inch of overhang so I can watch the whole shaft go. And now the, uh, uh, the wobble on the other end is very pronounced. So I go to where my high spot is up on this end, which means points down on that end. And I take my thing, my straightener. Now I'm on, I'm doing this shaft. I do all my shafts one half at a time. So when you have a pretty pronounced wobble, you want to take, you know, medium pressure and go all the way out to half of the shaft, and then you rotate it again. This time, what I did there was bend beyond the area. But I think you can see what I'm doing here. And I rotate it and then I kind of shorten my strokes as I move the wobble from the center to this end with the bending. I've got it almost there now. Okay, now it's just a minor bend. Okay, that ends nice and straight. So let's put it back where, where it's in the camera range. Okay, so you see that shaft is straight. That's what you want, just like a carbon arrow or an aluminum arrow. You don't want any wobble or spin. So then I'll set that one aside on my table over here, and we'll pick another one, put it in the center. Okay, now you see this shaft wobbles equally on both ends at the same time. What's up is up on both ends and what's down is down. That means your bend's directly in the middle. So pick an end. If you have, uh, have your choice, start always with the end that you've chosen for your knock. Um, and we'll run it out like that. And we'll rotate it and look. Just a minor Okay, that's good. And then you flip it to the other end and rotate it. Okay, that should be good. Okay, I've got a, just a very tight wobble here on this end, so I'm going to locate that. Sometimes you have to rotate the shaft really slow when you're down to the almost imperceptible wobble. Good. Okay. And I'll go through shafts uh, generally three or four times to get them. Occasionally you'll get a shaft that wobbles 
it's down on this end, it's up on this end, you've got a shaft that's bending in two different spots. If you go through, and I would work one end at a time, obviously, on that because you're working in two different directions, those shafts are a little more difficult. It's caused by the grain run out sometimes twisting in the shaft. If uh, if you have problems with those kind of shafts, I don't have any problem ditching them. Uh, they're, some of them go straight real quick, some of them are a royal pain in the butt. Those are the type of shafts that uh, uh, do very well with a heat straightening. Uh, I do use heat straightening depending on the arrow, like these poplars here. Uh, some of them needed a little heat, but most of them just cold straightened up perfectly. Uh, I hope this helps uh, somebody. If uh, there's any tips that y'all can give me to improve on this, uh, I'd appreciate it. And if you have any questions, please ask. Thank you all.